Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my 100% guide for Svartalheim from God of War Ragnarok. In this video we are just doing the Orvanga wetlands, so the first part of Svartalheim. I'm breaking them all down into the individual areas uh, because it would be a, a really long video to do whole of Svartalheim in one Maybe a couple of hours at least. So I'm breaking down each one. Each of the big areas will have individual ones. So you can break it down yourself. Um, you can see there. You can actually just bring up or Vanga or Vanga wetlands <laughs> and see what you need. So we need two Nornir chests, one legendary chest, one lore, two artifacts, one Odin's Raven, uh, one remnants and as of Asgard, and one undiscovered thing. Uh, that undiscovered thing is a hell tier. Uh, and I will just say that you cannot get 100% in this area until you finish the story. Now, these videos will uh, also have a mid-game spoiler in them with the partner that I have because I'm doing this after the story, so everything's wrapped up. Uh, so I'm starting from the Mystic Gateway of the Orvanger Wetlands, and I'm going to run through the entire area with you so you don't get lost. I'm not going to be jumping around and just showing you the map. So from the very beginning, we're going to go and get the Odin's Raven, the only one in this particular part of the wetlands, or sorry, the Svartalheim. And there we go, that's Odin Raven. There we are. I'm bring, I'll bring the map up now and again to show where we are, but <laughs> you know where we are at that point. Uh, and then we're going to get on the boat and start going up the river. So like I said, I'm not cutting anything out so you can follow along exactly so you don't get lost. The only things I will cut out are the fights. So there will be fights with the remnants of Asgard. They are the reason that you can't get 100% until you've finished the story. So if you are watching this beforehand, uh, that's the reason why. that will They will not appear until you have done the story and then they will be there. Uh, the Hell's Tear will appear. It's about three quarters of the way through the story uh, once the tears, tears sorry, have, uh, have happened. I don't know why I'm going around this long way, <laughs> the long way around that block. But we're going to stop on every way on the way up uh, and just grab everything that we need for 100%. There will be red chests, you know, the coffin looking ones and the little chests uh, that just have hack silver in them. I'm not getting those because that's not part of the 100%. So once you land on this island, uh, throw your axe into here to freeze it and jump across and then do the same again. We're not going to get the Nornir chest ju just yet. We're going to go up here. So get your axe and throw it in there, and then you'll be able to zip up. And then up here is going to be artifact number one of two. This is from the Things Left Behind set. This is Ride Mars Brazard. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Um, yeah, you might have to say the H. I don't know. So that's uh, that's artifact one of two. Here's where we are. So the next few things we're grabbing are in this bit here. So the next thing we're getting is this Nornir chest, which you've just seen. It's over here. This is just one of the old ones where you just need to break the statues. There's one up here. So the spear is best for this, to be honest. The axe obviously has that dip on it. These go for, for longer in a straighter line, so it's better to use the spear. So once you've hit all three of those, and that's a habit I've still not got rid of. Uh, you know, when you throw the axe, you press triangle to get it back. <laughs> I still do it with the spear. Uh, it's completely unnecessary, obviously. So depending on how many Nornir chests you have, it depends on whether you have the apple or the, the horn there. Now you can just chain up on the left-hand side uh, to climb up. You don't need to climb up this way. You can chain up the way you leave this section, but for the sake of continuity. And if you are watching this uh, while going through the story, for whatever reason, uh, you won't be able to 100% it. But this is the way you'll have to come. So climb up here and then zip line down, and this is the hell tear, not tear. So what we need to do is just a fight. So get um, Freya to interact with it. I'm having a bit of trouble getting the square. <laughs> there we go, and she will wander over, and you'll. It's a timed section. You just have to keep keep killing enemies until she's uh, closed them. You've done one of these during the story. There's uh, there's four more to do after the story, and uh, I'm going to skip. I'm not going to show you the whole fight, but they are frozen enemies, so don't bother trying to hit them with your axe. Get your blades out, and then kill them all. There's about seven or so, and just keep going. Seven or eight, and keep going. Now, what you need to do also is go to where the tear, tear Jesus, was and uh, grab the goodies out of it. It's something I've forgotten to do since starting the game. But don't worry, it's a good example, a good way for me to explain what happens then, is that... Uh, they just go to the chest at any of the benches where the dwarves work. 
So if you do forget, like I just did, then don't worry. You'll get your frozen spark and your, your other goodies by just going through the chest. It'll be dropped off there. Right, so that's all there is to do on that uh, section of land. Now we're going to go down river a bit. Uh, or is it up river? I don't know which way is the current going. Anyway, you got a duck under here. So we've done all this during the story. So you'll remember all this. And then we're going to do the remnants of Asgard. There's ten of these after the story's done. And they do not appear until the story is finished itself. Nothing on this island to the right of 100% interest. So I'm just going to ignore that. We're going to go around here. It's a bit. It's fairly well hidden, I would say, this bit. But there is a, a huge marker telling you to come this way, which is that legendary chest on the left there. And to get down here, you just need to duck under here. And you're going to be able to get through. And the first thing we will be doing is the remnant of Asgard in this area. But there are a few other things to do. Chests and lore and all sorts of good stuff. So how the remnants work is it's just a fight. Again, I will be skipping it. It's a very straightforward. So there we go. That's where we are now. Just come up, up river, down river to there it's actually a wetland it's not even a river is it and uh, yeah just kill all the enemies use whatever you want you don't need to have a specific weapon for these and then once they're all dead I've actually come up to the top because that's where they were but I, that's where I was down there by the Nornir chest so that's where the boat is just so you know where we are up to and then to finish off the remnants you're going to want to open these chests so this isn't the normal kind of red chest that I'm ignoring in these videos this is part of the remnants of Asgard, so you have to open it up to finish it. And there you go, you're going to get one. That's one of ten done for, for this particular one, so that's where I'm starting. And this is the part of our Norne chest. There's a letter there. We're just going to go and show you the uh, the Norne chest so you know which letters to get. And it's B, N, and I go for P on that first one. You can't see this first one, just hit it twice, or leave it till last. And um, listen out for the chime. To know that you've unlocked the box so that was the p and then we're going to go up no we're not we're going to go around change my mind remember rightly this is the b p n n b b yeah and then the final one is up here and this is the n there we go. So you'll get the chime to know that it's open. And then just run down and uh, collect your goodies, whatever they may be for this particular one. Or if you've got them all, it will be nothing of interest. And you're just going to 100% every area. So next we're going to get that lovely, lovely legendary chest, which is up top. That's going to have some deadly obsidian handles in it. They are for the blades. There's nothing more satisfying than opening a chest in God of War, is there? <laughs> and then the final thing up here, or on this section of land, is going to be the law. Just one of one, which is going to be unsafe roads, and that's going to be on this marker here. Good thing you the room, brother. And then we are good. That's all of this area done this uh, this bit of land anyway we've just got one more thing to get that's going to be the second artifact and then we're going to go back out this way and head I'll go with up river to the next puzzle section that we did during the story I'm very, I'll be very surprised if you miss this during the story to be honest but uh, of course, we're going for 100%, so I've left it in. Because you have to walk past it. You, there's, Yeah, <laughs> if you've missed this. Uh, yeah, let me know if you did, actually. If you did miss this, how? And also, if you get the reference. All Kavassia's poems are references to other IPs in the Sony family. So let me know if you get it. 
So I'm just showing you a little bonus thing here. These little things, if you don't know how to kill them, you kill them from behind. The game literally tells you that. But if you were just wondering, might as well get my goodies while I'm here. Could just leave them and pick them up with my uh, my dream dust later on. I'm just going to jump over here and then round here. And that's where we need to go up there. And I had a little bit of a brain fart here and forgot, no, we're not playing a normal game. We can't just jump up. We're playing God of War. You need to uh, bring yourself up to the level. And there we go. That's the poem. And that's going to be the end of this video. That's all the Orvanger Wetlands stuff done. You will be at, well, I don't, your, your percentage will be different to mine. Uh, well, that's 10% if you go in a clean run. Uh, next will be Nid. Uh, Nidvalir, the, the the town and I'll be starting from the gate up there, so if you are following along right, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one